Hey guys, Zuldin here and welcome to Outpost Zero. This is an upcoming survival game that I am currently looking at. The beta is going to come out a little while later this afternoon. I have early access to it to show you guys. It's basically, to me, it looks a lot like a, a No Man's Sky meets like a Pantropy type survival game. Pretty cool so far, very early access, so a lot of limited features right now, and there's still a lot of optimization that needs to happen, but for the most part, it is pretty cool, and I'd like to show it to you today. The description reads, a lawless alien world, robotic scouts are tasked with building an outpost for human colonists, command the AI minions, colonize the planet, and survive the perils of Gaia, and jam to this... 80s soundtrack. It sounds like sound like Tron or like this 80s adventure movie or something like that. Native wildlife, rival corporations, archaic space pirates, and the planet itself all stand in your way to rise to power. So uh, there's going to be multiplayer and online service and all this stuff. Today I'm just doing like a single player deal just to show you guys how it looks. And uh, we're going to get right into it in sandbox mode. There's also a horde mode, which is like a a defense survival mode. It uh, looks pretty clean so far. Anyway, let's get into it. I did play this game a little bit just to give you guys an idea about... Um, so I wouldn't noob it up, you know, totally. So I'll show you guys what the game is about and let you make decisions for yourself. I am your automated self-training system. Okay. In accordance with the Artificial Intellect Property Act, Section 41C, Subsection 35.1.5, I am pleased to inform you that you are the sole automated self-training system ass. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to go through the tutorial here. Your personality matrix is currently running at only 12% operational degradation. Good. Have personality then. Deactivate your self-destruct and salvage tagging subroutine. Beautiful. We don't want any self-destruct. Gaia, huh? As you can see from the beautiful landscape, very happy here. Please take a moment to examine your payload and ensure nothing was damaged during your completely routine landing. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful scenery, right? Okay, press tab to toggle open and close your inventory. All right. Equip your starting weapon by pressing your hot bar entry or right clicking it in your inventory. Okay, that's my starting weapon. will be a welcome safe haven for you during the beginning of your stay here on Gaia. We have faith have a fully functioning colony up and running in no time but in the meantime you can always rely on your trusty drop pod <laughs> and it was destroyed okay press the t key to quickly swap between your unarmed and armed weapons you all right are a fully self-aware artificial intelligence which has been painstakingly grown by ibc for the purpose of remote construction maintenance crew technician level three I am a semi-intelligent training program who has absolutely no aspiration for sentience. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, use N to see resources. You are piloting a general purpose utility and recon droid. It takes a lot of um guard for short. The acronym A lot of energy. An accident. Our engineers <laughs> like to name their projects in a way that will get them noticed in executive budget reviews. Uh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it works. All right, press M to check out your map. Okay, we got some warning right here as well. And uh, we can zoom in all the way and out. Cool. Use what you've learned to gather 50 carbon and iron as well as 25 silica and copper. Okay, so we have resource nodes all along the map as well as critters. Uh, the resource nodes, we have a couple different ways of mining stuff. Well, a few different ways. Uh, we have this handy, which works both as a welding tool type of deal to make structures and something that we can mine with. We can also switch with the T key to our... Um, to our uh, hatchet and use it. Uh, some weapons are much more effective on certain things than others. Um, and we'll be able to mine much more effectively when we get specialized tools for some of this stuff. Right now, we're going to head towards the trees and grab a little bit of carbon and try to set up a little base place. Now, I could mine all of this stuff by hand, <laughs> like I said before, but we're going to have enough to start off with a small base and we'll see what we need as we go. Hopefully, we'll get a chance. Uh, to get close there. I can go into third person mode and I apologize about the footsteps right now. They are a little loud. I've already gave given a little bit of feedback based on that. Let's see what we got here. Here's some silica. 
All right, we can mine that just about the same speed. There's a bunch of different items that we're going to need. And the tutorial kind of takes you to what you're supposed to do. I've never really completed the tutorial. I just messed around with building a little bit and the type of resources that you can mine. And I also put together a few of the basic tools. And that's what I'm going to do for you today. So the first thing that we need to do is put together a little base of operation. That way we'll have a place to store our stuff in case we die and all of that good stuff. Because there is a lot of stuff that can kill you in this game. Pretty much everything I've come across uh, has killed me very, very, very quickly. All right, this seems like a pretty good place. It's pretty flat. There's some trees around. I don't know where exactly all of the iron nodes are going to be and stuff. It would be nice if we were located right near an iron node. That energy node right there looks really good, too. Um... You're going to need energy as you go. What is all that? Oh, purple? Purple in a huh? Huh, you can mine all of this stuff as well. Okay, I don't know what all of that is. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's the energy. That's good. We probably could uh, beat that. Uh, that's a crab right there. All right, you're going to tell me all about welcoming to Gaia, huh? So let's see if we could find another metal node that's a little bit close to these energy nodes and trees and all of this stuff and we'll we'll find we'll we'll put down a little base place to start with it looks like there's a larger rock over here that might be a good spot let's see if that is in fact a metal node i think it's just a rock that is, that's an iron node right there. Uh, this will work just fine then. This will work just fine. I should be able to place like a harvester on top. So there's a few different things that you could do. But first, we're going to go into the build mode with the B key. And we're going to set up some foundations. We're only going to set four to start with here. So let's go ahead and set them down. The building is pretty straightforward. Once you have these, you could go back into the build menu, for instance, and select the different types of deals. We have windows, walls, pillars, uh, this type of stuff like force field doors. Let's set up a door. I guess we're going to set a door up this way. And we'll also set some walls up and some windows, of course, too. Let's see. We'll set a window here. And a window here. And we're going to just set walls here because we, we're planning to expand the base, right? Uh, sooner or later. It's just going to be a box right now, but <laughs> we'll, we'll get it done. Okay, so we've got our wall set up now. Uh, we're also going to put ceilings too, but for the most part, we just need to seal this in right now. So what you want to do when you have your wall set up is it's almost like framework and you can look and it looks like there's a progress meter. If you use your handy on it, it goes ahead and it completes the deal. Boom. There we go. Window. This will do a wall. And this will do the force field door. Beautiful. Now you can see there's like a little power meter on it too. Let's set down a couple foundations and what we can do is we can set up basic power. Alrighty. I, I, I know the audio is a little bit loud too, guys. I could turn it just a smidge down if it does help. But I wanted you guys to get the feeling of it. A lot of people have been saying my audio is a little bit low lately. So I just want to make sure that you guys can hear the game sounds and stuff. It's immersion, right? It's the immersion factor that we're going for. All right. So we got all of our foundations up. And just a few more walls to get up and we'll be done. <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time I tried to record this video because of various different things that I was trying to figure out. And now that I have it kind of all figured out, well, not all of it, but the basics at least figured out, I figured that I could show you guys some basic gameplay and, uh, and, and let you check out the game. All right. It does take a little while to get things going here, but once you do, it, it turns out much quicker. Okay. So we've got our walls up. Now we probably need to do power and storage. 
Let's check these things out. The first thing that we're gonna want is power naturally. Uh, so we'll go to what looks like the plug-in and there's a steam furnace. Uh, there's a few different types of power generation. There's a gas generator, which I haven't tried yet, but we have a steam furnace. We'll go ahead and start that up. Same thing, we'll complete its construction by using our handy on it. There we go, steam furnace is operational. It just needs some fuel. And what fuel are we gonna use for that? Well, naturally, we're gonna use carbon for that. Carbon, you can get from any type of organic stuff, like trees, mostly. So let's go ahead and head on over to the trees here. We can get red phosphorus. I don't know what all that is. Right now, I just want some carbon. We're getting a bunch of carbon, as you can see. Exotic trees, huh? Nice. Okay, so how much carbon was that? Roughly 75? Pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab one more tree's worth. And I'm really interested to check out the rest of this game. I haven't seen a whole lot of it, but the premise seems pretty neat. And I do like the way that the bases and stuff are constructed. It seems pretty cool. There's, It's a futuristic game, so there's probably going to be a whole lot of neat stuff that you could put together. Alrighty. So... I cannot get up in my own deal. <laughs> okay, um, let's... <laughs> I might have overthought that a little bit or underthought that. Let's see. I think we could do a ramp here. Uh, let's see. I do have access to ramps, maybe? I do have access to ramps. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. Hatchet. Handy. There we go. I was hurting it, not helping it. Don't use your hatchet on your ramps, folks. Or, or anything that you own, actually. It'll, it'll hurt you. Okay. Now that we're in... Let's go ahead and fuel this puppy up with some carbon. We can just drag that in and it'll power up the base. As you can see, we have lights and a force field now. Pretty cool. Okay, so um, let's do some storage now. Uh, we can open up the build menu again and we'll see that we have a, there's a tools menu for storage container. We could set that down. And if we go back into the build menu, We'll also see that there is, sorry, there is a harvester. So we need 10 iron for that. Um, so let's go ahead and finish this container off. And we'll go out and grab some iron. And so far it seems like the consumption of carbon is very, very, very easy uh, to deal with. It's not real bad at all. Also, there's a little bit of motion blur in the game that I'm not uh, particularly fond of, but um, let me go ahead and just switch here. Uh, but there, there is a way to disable motion blur, but it doesn't look like it's fully operational. Actually, this is supposed to be no motion blur right now, but there is a little bit of motion blur anyway. All right, we'll just chop this a few more times and that should give us the iron that we need for the harvester. Yes, okay. So, uh, oh no, we don't want the harvester actually. We want the miner. So the miner sits down right over a node here and they have pylons and stuff that you can connect power with, but right now this one's close enough to the base. That's the reason that I chose this. So let's go ahead and switch to the handy again. And we'll set the miner up, and it'll start doing the extraction for us. And it's just going to use the energy of our... Oh, oh, no, actually, it doesn't have... doesn't look like it has energy. Turn off is Q. Turn on. Okay, it needs two kilowatts of power here, which it doesn't have. Maybe I do need to set up a pylon. Okay, I thought it would be close enough, but apparently it is not. Maybe just because it's not connected to the base. So, let's see what I can do with a pylon. Um, if I go to power, I could see that there is a power pylon available there. Now, can I just place it like in the vicinity? I don't know exactly how this goes. 
What happens if I just place it right here? Warning, incoming lightning storm. That sounds pretty scary. Let's see how this works. I'm not too familiar with the way pylons work and stuff, but... Okay, grid, 8 kilowatts. Grid, prod, 4 kilowatts. Uh, I think the lightning storm is about to affect me. And we don't have a roof yet. Power consumed, 2 kilowatts. There it is, baby. All right. All right, we need to get a roof on this puppy. I have no idea what the lightning storm is going to do here. <laughs> um, let's see. Build menu. We need roofs, man. Roofs, roofs. Uh, let's see. Ceilings. We need iron for ceilings. Uh, let's see if our extract, how much our extractor picked up so far. Six. That's a good start. That's a good start. We'll take it. Or eight. I think we needed ten. One more, baby. Hook me up. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, did I grab it? There. Okay. B. Ceilings. There we go. All right. Let's place a ceiling over our... Oh, that was fast, actually. That was pretty fast. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bad. All right. We've got two ceilings up. It looks like we're going to need two more. We'll probably change one of those walls to the doors. Let's see. Seven, eight. Like I said, you can manually mine this stuff, too. But I thought we'd have enough for just about everything to at least get the the miner up and running and stuff. There we go. That's 10. That should be enough for two more ceilings. And we'll have our base totally closed in after that. Let's see here. Yeah, ceilings. Alrighty. Beautiful. And we already have the handy equipped. Alright. Alright. So, we need to gather more silica, copper, and did it say carbon? Yeah, we gathered plenty of carbon, so I'm pretty sure that will be fine. Alright, now we're, we're protected from the elements if we need to be. We can just run in here and take a look. So, let's check our carbon levels. Our carbon levels, oh yeah, we only used a few actually, it's not that bad. Okay, so let's go out and mine a little bit of, well, we've got another spot in here. What do we need for some basic tools? Let's take a look. Um, let's go to, that's a machine station, equipment workbench, that sounds good. We need 15 iron, we already have the copper, so let's go ahead and grab some iron out of our... Miner, we have enough to do that equipment bench. We're going to need to expand this out really, really soon, but we can still get started right here, so it shouldn't be bad. Okay, uh, equipment workbench, boom. And we'll go ahead and finish that up. Okay, now when we access the equipment workbench, we can see that there are a ton of different things that we can get here. Uh, we're going to look down at tools. And there is a few tools that allow us... There's armor, first of all. There's backpacks that kind of extend all of the uh, invent, your inventory and stuff. And you can see that there's a bunch of different... Um, bunch of different materials required for some of this armor for instance like we need animal hides you know and silica and iron and stuff okay so a welder is good at repairing buildings uh we, a range finder i'm not sure why this item even exists a hand drill is good for mining ore terrible at anything else an extractor is good for liquid resources uh a spade is good for minerals like silica or to bash your enemies in the face. So we're going to need more iron for that. And we already have a little bit of silica, so that's fine. Uh, there's a multi-tool. There's an electrified baton. There's a knife, hatchet. Probably a sword for attacking. So that's what? 20 or 25 iron for a sword. And uh, something to extract silica, which we're going to need. So let's grab that. The, is this still turning? No. Or, oh, are we out of power? 
We are. We do not have enough power based on what we have. So we're going to have to add another generator, I'm thinking. Hmm. Dang, that didn't take long at all. Um, <laughs> that didn't take long at all to get past. Okay, let's go looking at um, generation, steam furnace, another five iron, and uh, another copper. We can... We can downpower some of this. We can actually turn this off for a moment. And we can... The storage container doesn't take any energy. And it looks like we're mining again. So, it's a little bit of power management here. That's crazy, man. I didn't even realize that. So, it stops mining when you have everything powered up because it's a wattage limit. So, you just need to add extra power. There's a bunch of different generators that you can get, too. But to start off, we'll just get some mining tools and we should be good to go. Okay, so let's just look at this really quick. It's, um, we can select, oh yeah, there's guns that you can get to. I haven't really figured out how to craft ammo and stuff, but let's go ahead and craft our sword first. And then we're going to need a... What did we say that we're going to need? Welcome to Gaia. Man, if you don't quit trying to welcome me to Gaia, bruh. Um, the spade. That's right. The spade. I'm going to be missing materials for that. Okay, so we did get a sword. And the sword is quite long. It's pretty good. It's pretty good for attacking. All right, let's see. Everything seems to be on now. Weird. Uh, okay, so we've got... We've got some more. Now we should be able to do... Our... What well, says turn... I'm, I'm crafting, but it's turned off. How weird. Uh, <laughs> okay, spade. Craft. Everything kind of looks like a knife. There's a bunch of placeholder art right here, but... So we're also getting low on power here. You can see our own power is going down. So we're going to need to go to one of those energy nodes and kind of refill, so to speak. And I'll show you how to do that. In my opinion, it takes a little bit long, but you can get some charging stations and stuff like that as well, which allow you to, um, to do things a little bit nicer here. Okay, so we've got our spade. We've got... Uh, we've got everything that we need right here. All right, so let's go to Let's go exploring a little bit. I'm gonna get my energy And we're gonna go see if we can attack one of these crabs We'll bring you guys everything that we can today So you can see the energy is refilling right now from this energy rock the node itself does go down so you'll see that right where it says recharge and Q and stuff uh, you see that there's an actual bar that's going down. I'm sure this replenishes over time, if just like nodes might recharge over time, you know. Uh, but for the most part, there are plenty of these rocks, so I haven't really seen any big problems with that. Also, if we don't want to lose our base, there is something that we can look at for uh, mapping purposes, and that is the map beacon. It only takes one little... Uh, metal to do one little iron to do so we're gonna go ahead and I guess we're gonna put one right here somewhere I got 700 energy that should be enough let's just put the map beacon right near my base I'll just put it like right here oh man uh, it did not place there we go okay map build Okay, that one's already done. Info. Okay. Items received aren't. Okay. We should have it on our map now. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Actually, it does not look like it. Do we have to power this sucker on or something? Let's see. Q E. No, demolish. We have a demolish command, but really nothing else. Adds a waypoint on your map and a compass for reference. Um, it does not look like it added it. Oh, well, I'll just take a screenshot of what I have here. Um, 
Oh, F12 actually <laughs> gets rid of the uh, the UI too. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, we do. We just figuring all kind of stuff out over here. All right. Let's see. There was a crab around here. Oh, look at that thing over there. Holy crap! There's some silica. I'd like to try out uh, my little spade here. 120. Whoa! Well, swinging that shovel like we crazy. Let's see what it looks like up close. Okay, not that bad. So we're getting plenty of sulfur here. I thought that was silica for some reason. I don't think we're going to be able to fit all of this stuff either. Do we have room? Yeah, we got room. We'll grab this stuff while we're here. Okay, it's depleted. Fine. Looks as though there's a few different piles of this type of stuff around... There's some more metal. We don't have a real portable tool for this, but we can set up extractors around and just, like, check the stations, you know? Let's put the sword in our hand. That's the hatchet. There we go. All right, we should be able to defeat this crab. No problem. We'll stay in range of our base until we can figure out what's going Oh, it does add... Oh, no, that's danger. It does not. I was thinking that it would. I really, really wish you could just add a map marker, but you can't. All right. Let's attack this crab and see what we got. A disease crab wanderer. 1,950 hit points. 75 points of damage to a piece. Get away from me, sucker. The range seems pretty good on the sword so far. So like I said, I don't know a whole bunch about guns and ammo and all that stuff. I did make a rail gun before. This gives sulfur. Okay, good. We already had some of that, but that's fine. Um, and you can shoot things, but I don't really know how to craft the ammo. So I have to dig into that a little bit more. But that's, that's what melee combat looks like. Um, I did attack one of those big guys over there for the record. And it killed me in one hit. So, all right, here's some copper. Again, we don't have a real good way of mining this stuff. We're doing 30 with that. We do 38 with that, which is a little bit better. I don't know if we have durability on our weapons or not. But this will give us a little bit of copper that we need. Altogether, I think we only need 25 copper. So we can probably just mine this for a little bit and be on our way. Let's see, I think the hatchet hits a little bit faster, huh? A little bit faster? I think every hit is giving me about one. There's a, a mining tool that's a lot better than this, uh, which we'll probably go check out right now. This is sulfur. We need silica, which we do have some piles of that stuff around here and there. Or is it that? that that's the thing that, that, that killed me in one shot. Also, there's those weird things in the air. They look like big space jellyfish. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't know what to think about those things, but it, they look pretty phenomenal. Okay, so let's check on this. Um, it looks like we're missing some materials for anything else. Let's see how our iron production is going here. We've got 27 iron, which is amazing. Not that bad for just going out and adventuring, huh? Okay, we have the hand drill. That's what we need. There we go. So we'll craft that up. Now, the hand drill, what's great about this thing is it gives you a lot of stuff when you're, like, hitting iron. The strange thing about it is you would think that it's like a power tool that you would hold out and it would drill, right? No. <laughs> you slam stuff with this thing. It's hilarious. I'm going to show y'all. All right. We've got it. Let's equip it, and we'll go back out to this mining rig. I mean, this, uh this node and I'll show you what it looks like it's hilarious though all right there is our sulfur there's the copper all right ready blang 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 <laughs> but look how fast it binds so we're getting three copper on it a piece which is pretty good so all we need now is silica and we'll be able to get plenty of that stuff with our spade if we can find some. We might as well get this iron node while we're here, too. This will give us a boost. As long as we can stay in, like, a safe... Safe um, distance from that big... Uh, that big tata over there. 
Yeah, much better than swinging that old sword or that hatchet on these things. Or that multi-tool, good lord. Oh, this is silver. It's not even iron. Holy crap. There's some really cool resources around here. I don't even know what silver is for yet. There's copper. Okay, silica and an earthquake. Oh, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. This is just regular energy where we can recharge. Okay, here's the earthquake. Was that literally the earthquake? Oh! <laughs> um. So far, not too bad. <laughs> I wonder if you're climbing or if you're doing anything specific, if this can really mess you up. There's some iron right there, I think. Danger, earthquake. At the top left, it shows you. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, I got all kind of iron. I still have yet to find silica. What is that over there? Is that some sort of just a plant? Silica looks like a little pile of stuff on the ground, kind of like that sulfur did. But I do not see any of it. We might have to go back a little bit where we came from. As soon as we finish this tutorial, old boy is going to stop welcoming to us to Gaia. I did get past that port um, in my single player experimentation prior to the video. There may be some sulfur around here. That looks like maybe it right there. This is silica, yes. Uh, sulfur, silica, I keep getting them mixed up. Okay, we need the spade for this. So after we get this, this should be it. Because we got plenty of iron. The only thing we didn't that we don't have on us is carbon. Maybe it doesn't track it if it's in storage. But we'll be able to get plenty of it just right here as well. Maybe you need it all in your inventory for it to track it, huh? But I know we got the rest of the stuff here. So let's go ahead and get carbon. This does a lot better than the hatchet, too, this sword. We should have gotten all... There it is! We did that already. We've already done that, though. Okay, press B to open and close, okay. So build a command module? A command center, I haven't done that yet. I haven't built a command center. So I'm gonna have to expand out what we have a little bit here. Probably... I'm just getting a little bit more silica. Probably just throw out some foundation and change one of those walls to a door. That'll probably be pretty good. Either that or just add some foundations to it. I don't even need, I don't even know if I need specific access to it in my little, in my little bunker here. But we'll throw a foundation down and see what it looks like here. Command center, okay. Um, we'll do a foundation first. And... Um, oh, it's blocked by a wall? You can't just... Oh, there it is. The building seems a little bit wonky. To connect it, we might have to actually take down one of these walls. Okay, turn off. Info. We should just be able to demolish it. Really demolish the tier 1 wall? Yes. Or, actually, let's do this one instead. Demolish. Yes. There we go. Okay, so now we could do the foundation. Okay, we'll just expand this out a little bit more. And let's do our... Um... Oh, we had the handy out.
Okay, now we can do this one and we'll put the command center right here. We'll probably end up having to wall all this stuff in. Okay, build command center. Where was that? Was it right here? There we go. Command Digital. center. Other corporations with inferior technology have also secured rights to travel to Gaia for reconnaissance and development operations. Fortunately. Fortunately, the planet is outside the jurisdiction of any laws governing destruction of property. Thus, you are allowed to destroy any rival bots you see. Unfortunately, you are our property, and they are allowed to destroy you right back. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that seems fun. Uh, let's see here. In. Uh, I'm sorry. T. Okay. Command center is going to be built. A critical portion of your job entails keeping yourself and your colony powered. Please build a furnace and stoke it using carbon gathered from the local indigenous flora. Feel free to burn anything you like. Really. Doesn't matter. Burn anything. <laughs> As you may have noticed, your guard constantly consumes energy. Running out of energy will likely end in your death, which will result in a 10 point deduction on your next performance review. Oh, God. Build a charging station to be able to recharge your batteries. All right. Well, we're going to do all of that when we come back, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the first little episode of Outpost Zero. I'm enjoying the game, and I intend to explore it a little bit more. Thanks so much for watching, guys. All the info will be in the description, as always, if you're interested in checking out the game yourself. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Ulian signing off, and we'll see you next time.